PC, accounting for your future. Hi, this is Dave from APC, and I'm the course director here at APC. And in this video, we're going to talk about the SIMA E3 strategic management. So, the first part of this video is where we're going to look at the syllabus outlined by the SIMA E3 exam. Of course, as you can see, we have got five aspects there uh, with regards to the SIMA E3. So, the strategic management is nothing new to be perfectly honest with you because you've learned the strategy, how to set up the strategy and different types of strategy in your E1 as well as your E2 of your study. When it comes to E3 of your study then, the section A as well as the section B talking about the strategies, that will be exactly to be the same knowledge that you've learned before. So for example, strategy, we have got the corporate business and operational strategy. Corporate strategy tells us which industry we are in. For example, APC in the education industry. The business strategy, however, is talking about how we're going to compete with our competitors. For example, we're going to lower down our prices, for example. And what are the strategic options that's within the business strategy? For example, think about Madonna is using a franchising option to expand its businesses. And once you've set up the corporate as well as the business strategy then, we're going to come to the operational strategy. It's where we're going to put all this corporate and business strategy into real life, into practices. For example, we're going to use quite a lot of these advertising campaigns. We're going to recruit quite a lot of talented staff to work for us so that we can uh, make sure that the corporate as well as the business strategies are implemented successfully. So those will be the things that is within the section A as well as the section B, just to be a knowledge that you've learned before. But what is quite different from the E3 exams perspective is that you're likely to be given more complicated scenario in, uh, to make sure that you can apply this knowledge in this scenario. And that is the advanced bits that you have to be aware of. Looking at the section C of the SIMA E3 exam, it's looking at the leading change. So again, it's talking about the change management. So the knowledge that you've learned in this particular section C will be exactly to be the same as what you've seen in your E1 as well as your E2 exam. There's nothing new. But um, from my perspective, the change management in section C in the E3 exam is mainly testing you the, I mean, the operational strategy. So what do I mean by that is that what are the changes, uh, especially for the impact will be if there will be a change in the, for example, the organisational structure, especially nowadays with the introduction of the information system, many of these organisations would like to rely on the computer. Maybe a lot of these organisations nowadays would use the remote, um, I mean, to work remotely in their office, in their home, uh, I mean, talking about the staff. And, and if that is the case, if I would change the, um, the organisational structure, I mean, theoretically or uh, previously, We've got the uh, organisational structure with lots of these hierarchies, but now we'd like to change that to the uh, simple structure. If that is the case, what would be the impact on the organisation? And also leading change within the section C, we're going to talk about uh, what, would be, uh, what would be the impacts uh, if there will be changes in the culture within the business as well. So that would be the knowledge within the section C we have to look at. Section D though is where we're going to implement the strategy and again that will be the same thing as what we've talked about regarding the operational strategy. It's where we're going to think about how we're going to put those marketing campaigns, human resource management issues, etc. as well as knowledge management, etc. Uh, uh, in making sure that the corporate as well as the business strategies can be successfully implemented. But from the E3 exams perspective we are mainly focusing on the performance measurement in this particular issue. Because, for example, 
if I said to the manager, you have to change this, you have to follow my steps. So this is talking about change. But if the manager says to you back that I'm not going to do that for you because I think doing this bit will affect my interests. For example, originally I can get $10 of bonus, but after I've done this, I can only get $2 of bonus. I would never do that. So from this perspective then, how are we going to measure the performance of the managers fairly? By using quite a lot of tools, for example, the EVA, Economic Value Added Method, so that it's very, very important in the section D we're going to be focusing on. After a look at that, of course, the section E is talking about the information system. Mainly, we are focusing on the big data. So this concept has been, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, appearing in the E1 of your exam. So you know what is big data. Big data means we need to get as much data as we can. Why this is the case is because as we get more and more data, we can analyze the trend of each of these customers so that we know their needs and then we can produce the products fulfilling their needs later on. So, of course, get more and more big data is one of the requirements for most of the businesses nowadays. And because they've got more and more data so that the, uh, the I mean, the conversion rates, I mean, from the uh, not customer uh, to a real customer is uh, relatively increasing. So if we get more and more data, so that's what I mean by big data. So very, very importantly, how are we going to manage the knowledge within your organization? How are we going to apply this big data concept will, uh, will be appearing in the section E of your syllabus. So that's what the E3 syllabus is all about. The part two of this video is where we're going to look at how the E3 examiner may test you in the exam. So again, where you can see the same formats of the exam uh, in the previous papers, We've got 90 minutes available, you're given 60 questions and you have to get more than 70 marks in order to pass this exam. The E3 is using objective test questions, which means the examiner is going to give you quite a lot of these multiple choice questions, the drop down questions, yes or no type of questions, numbers and cheese questions, etc. And this exam will be marked by the computer. Okay, so that's what the E3 exam is all about. And how APC can help. Of course, we will provide you with all of these HD quality videos, such as this, to go through the whole syllabus in order to help with your exams. Together with, my, uh, with our expert videos, we're going to tell you how you can prepare your exams, what are the exam techniques will be, and what are the tips for the upcoming exams as well, will be included in the videos. We've also got the APC study notes, and the study notes is complying the latest syllabus outlined by SIMA, with lots of its exercises as well as the practices in there. And you can rely on this uh, study notes together with our videos, to pass your upcoming SIMA E3 exam relatively easily. If you've got any questions during your study, you can email our tutor because we've provided the tutor support as well. And finally, we've got the pass guarantee service. This means that if you fail the exam, don't worry, you can enroll in the course again free of charge until you pass it. And we are confident that if you follow our steps, you can pass the SIMA E3 exam relatively easily. So, happy studying and looking forward to seeing you in the class. APC, accounting for your future.